what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's Gina doing her usual rolling down the road <laughs> so I just came back from house hunting in Georgia and I'm on my way back to North Carolina so I wanted to come in and do why do I always do that I always say so <laughs> but anyway I wanted to come in and do my first story time and it's about what happened to me recently at my spot in uh, Murphy North Carolina so what happened was I was scheduled to work uh, 1 to 9 and I got off early and everything this whole day actually was kind of strange and I was gonna work my whole shift wasn't gonna you know ask to leave early it's called it an EO it means early out so I didn't sign for that I was just gonna work my my shift out because I had to stop at Walmart and get some items before I went home so the next shift came in and the dealer was like you know they've got four floors over there and they don't have any any place to put them when I say floors I mean supervisors that's what we're called and I was like oh really so she was like yeah she was like you should call and see maybe if you can go home so I was like okay and you know I'm on my spiritual journey and you know doing my detox and all of that and oh I gotta tell y'all about that too but anyway um I'm zoned in to when things happen by, by happenstance, okay? So I was like, okay, I said, well, I'll go ahead and call the pencil. And the pencil is the person that um, puts you where you should, where they need you to go, where they need you to work that day. And they're also responsible for, you know, getting you out um, on the early out if it's feasible for a business needs so I called them and I said well you know I said if you if you've got some people I said I'll be more than happy to go home and so he was like okay he said I keep that in mind so they sent someone over to tap me out to, to get me out and I think it had to be what maybe seven 45 something like that and I got my belongings and and I left okay and I said well you know what I got out early I can still go ahead and go to Walmart and get my items before I go home so I'm in Walmart and get my my items and you know I'm just kind of laxy daisy you know not in a hurry or anything and so you know, something nudged me and was like, okay, Gina, that's enough. Go, come on, let's go. So, I'm, I'm pretty obedient when I want to be. <laughs> so, I listened and I went ahead and checked out. And I like to use the self-check. So, used the self-check, went on out, got in my car, you know, went home. No, no nothing out of the ordinary, okay? I get to the to the turn and I turn up, you know, and I'm going to my spot. And and I'm looking and I see on my deck <laughs> there there's my hamper that I put my my dirty clothes in. And then there's another bag over in the corner of the deck, right? what's really going on so I'm like okay maybe she came home maybe she hanging out 
somewhere and these are her her belongings and she you know she's just somewhere I don't I don't know <laughs> okay so just to make sure that I'm seeing what I'm seeing I turn my car um, because I didn't I didn't have any uh, lights to light up the property so I turn my car so I can light up the deck so I can really see you know what's going on and sure enough that's what I see I see the, the laundry basket and I see the bag and I'm like scratching my head and I'm like what is going on why are my belongings outside it, and it still at this point has not dawned on me what is going on okay so I get out the car yeah I get out the car uh, <laughs> it's gonna be like in the movie type deal okay where you like telling the person no don't go don't go to the door don't go to the door so <laughs> so I get out the car and I walk up the deck and I walk to my front door and I see my door is open not the screen door but I see that the big door is open and again it still ain't dawned on me okay so I'm I'm holding the door and I step in I didn't step all the way in cuz I'm I'm still dumbfounded right so <laughs> I'm like hello just like in the movies right <laughs>
None of that. Okay? So... So... Okay, y'all, it's some things that I want to say, but because I haven't moved from here yet, you know what? Forget that. Okay? Because I'm covered in the blood of the Lord. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. I know who did this. Okay? It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out who did this. My neighbor did this. And if you watching, because now I know you know I do YouTube. I know you did this. Okay, so my neighbor did it because the way the thing is set up is you can't get up the mountain, you can't you can't get into where we live without somebody seeing you coming and going. It's only one way in, one way out. They didn't have a car in my driveway because it was no car that went by me. You can't circle around or none of that. All right. So I know they did it. Okay. So police officer, now back to the story. So the police officer went in, he checked out the premises, secured everything, came and got me, and I went inside the house and I have never been burglarized before, so this was foreign to me. And so I was a little taken aback because I'm I'm not I wasn't packing at that time. Alright. Because I felt like everybody telling me, oh yeah, it's safe up here, we don't have any issues, blah blah blah. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I won't need it. So I go in the house and I'm looking around. Like I said, the living room is untouched. My in my beauty room, I look in I go to my bedroom first. And I see in my bedroom my television is missing. And then I have um, that bookshelf and I had, you know, little girly stuff up there, perfume purses, all my purses were gone. Um, or 95% of my purses were gone. Um, my costume jewelry rings, um, my co some costume jewelry was is gone. They took that. They took or uh, tried. To, they had packed up in the hamper all the clothes that was in my bureau. I got three drawers and they emptied out all of that and put that in the hamper. They picked five random pairs of shoes, three, three pairs of pumps, <laughs> and two pairs of flats. And these were in two different spots uh, where I keep my shoes. And so they took that or had that packed up and then had some uh, another in the other bag they had um, my Victoria's Secrets lotion I mean they just took like stupid stuff you know they got my laptop and television so that was you know that's what a burglar is supposed to come and get not clothes so they got my clothes some of my clothes um, and then they got my Juicy Couture and my Nicki Minaj and I just finished paying off because the way our job is set up we have a vendor that comes in um, twice a year and you can do payroll deduction for whatever it is that you want to get so I, I got the television that was in my room the two perfumes, the Nicki Minaj and the Juicy Couture, and I had a big bottle, the biggest bottle that they sell of the Juicy Couture, and I had used only a sparing amount of that. So, they took that. Girl, let me tell 
you they took my pajamas, okay? You know those bins that you get from Walmart to fit into the um, bookcase? Yeah, they took that. And that was full of pajamas. And they took my pajamas that I slept in that I took off that morning. They took that and left some flowers that's from my yard. They set the flowers and put them in, in my bedroom floor, girl. Okay? I was outdone. I'm like, why would somebody do that? Why? So my, I'm thinking, you know, because I watch a lot of stuff and I do a lot of research. So I'm thinking they probably picked the flowers you know, try to make sure nobody was at home and make sure nobody was watching them. And just since they didn't have enough time to clean out everything, they, uh, you know, left the flowers in, in my floor, right? So, now, let me tell you how they got in. They got in, and you guys are, will see this on the next video. But they got in from the sunroom. So they had to get a ladder and climb up the ladder. Either that way or they came in through the door. Cut the, um, the screen so they could get around to the sunroom. They got that out. Took that screen out. Because since everybody was telling me that, oh yes, this is safe. You don't have to worry about anything. Everybody leave their doors open and unlocked. Car doors open and unlocked and blah, blah, blah. So I know how Sherry uh, loves that sunroom. And so I left the sunroom window open. So all they had to do was just take the screen off and come on in. And so that's what they did. So, now, if that wasn't salt in the womb enough, okay, the detective, I told the detective, I said, detective, I said, I know who did this, because Spirit told me who did it. And, and you know, that's another thing. They took stuff where I had scriptures placed. So you know these some heathen people. You don't even respect the the word. You just gonna steal around the word. You know what I mean? Just ridiculous. But anyway, I told the detective, I said, I know who did this. I said, it's getting dark, so I'm time to take the shades off. But I told the detective, I said, my neighbors did this. I know who did it. I said, because they the only ones that can see what time I'm coming and what time I'm going. And I said, because of what was taken, these weren't professionals. They, you know, up here they have meth heads up here. Now, they don't look like they meth heads. You know, from what I'm looking at, they don't look like they meth heads, but how do I know? What do I know? Anyway, how about this joker didn't even go over there and talk to him and, you know, say, hey, your neighbor, you know, got broke into, did you hear anything, see anything? Because they the closest one to me. Everybody else in the back of me. So, he didn't even go do that. This joker wouldn't even return phone calls. So this is why I tell, you know, people, because people at my job, they like, you know, you think it's really still prejudice? Absolutely, it's still prejudice out here. And that's the reason why I was trying to stay low-key, grab my bread, get on back to Georgia, and let it be a done deal. So... It's sad, but it's true, you know. But I'm not going to hold you guys because I don't know how long I've been sitting up here rambling. It's say 19 minutes, so almost 20 minutes. Girl, let me get off of this thing and drive home. But I just wanted to, you know, do my first story time, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm just country.
country accent like seriously but let me get off of here guys i will see you in the next video and thank you so much for rocking with me and uh sending your sorrows uh my way but you know what the lord is good that little stuff that they took it'll be replaced 10 times fold so it's okay i'm still the conqueror all right because i love the lord and the lord loves me i will talk to you all soon um stay tuned because i got some things i want to talk to you about about this new look you got your girl got going on all right so i will talk to y'all later as always this is gina helping you keep your fancy beauty even when you get robbed <laughs>